Okay, so this Gear Town deck revolves more around the higher level uh, gear monsters and completely ignores gadgets. Uh, and its main focus is just to destroy Gear Town over and over with the brand new Ancient Gear Catapult and uh, Double Cyclone, Galaxy Cyclone, and Kiraz, the Light Monarch. He's actually really good for destroying Gear Town. And he fits in with the deck uh, very easily, since this deck usually runs triple the Monarch Stormforth, because Gear Town allows you to summon all these guys with one tribute, which uh, works out very well with Kiraz, the Light Monarch. He can also be brought out with Call the Haunted to activate his effect. His effect, of course, allows you to destroy two cards on the field, and the player of the... no, the controller of the cards that you destroy uh, gets to draw a card. And the important thing about his effect is that the uh, drawing a card part of his effect happens simultaneously with the destruction, so it technically allows Gear Town to go off. It's like one of those uh, exceptions where, because Gear Town, you really have to be careful with what you destroy it with. Like if your opponent chains MST to a uh, effect to attack, I mean to destroy Gear Town, its effect won't go off because it'll miss its timing. Uh, that's like one of the more popular ways to destroy it. Kiraz, he's he's totally fine with that. And uh, in order to round off the deck, I also threw in a couple of other cards that are really good when they're destroyed by card effects. Dark Coffin, Smoke Grenade, Z1 to recover some of my uh, gear towns that I destroy very frequently. And then a couple of hand trap monsters. Uh, Swordsman Revealing Light so I can use them with trade-in along with Ancient Gear Gadolin Dragon. And uh, Speedroid Menko because he's basically a battle fader.